Yo, it's your first open mic and those cute little butterflies have multiplied and transformed into this breath sucking super bug that is overtaking your gut. You're nervous. I get it. I'm here to let you know that you can still do this. And in this episode, I'm going to be giving you some tips on how you can overcome nervousness on your first trip to the mic. But first... Monica Harrison with One Word Productions. If you are on your way to your very first performance on an open mic or in an open mic session, I'm here to help you get over the jitterness and the nervousness that may arise. And I'm going to tell you a little secret real quick. I've been doing this for years and yet still I get nervous sometimes when I have to hit the mic. It's okay. You're not alone. So Let's get into it. The first thing I need you to do is make a firm decision that you're actually going to get on the mic. I've seen people actually sign up for open mics and then go back and scratch their name off. I've seen people sign up for open mic and don't show up for the open mic. And it could be for a number of reasons. Uh, if one of those reasons is because they're nervous, don't do it. Make the decision before you even get there that you're going to stick through it. You're going to follow through. You're going to get on the mic because... Reason number two, you got to know that somebody needs to hear what you have to say. But even greater than that, you need to hear what you have to say. And that may not make sense, but let me make it make sense to you. Um, a lot of times our freedom comes from not hearing other people, but from hearing ourselves express what's on the inside. My very first open mic that I actually hosted was titled The Release, my first album that I did was called the release. It was called release because it was important for me to get out what God had placed on the inside. And so a lot of times it's not just, yeah, sure. Open mic is about sharing your gift with other people, sharing your words and your voice and your talent and your gifts with other people, giving it back to God. But also it's about you expressing yourself and getting up out of you what's on the inside. And when you do that, you actually open the door for other creative juices to flow on the inside as well. Mm, key term, write that down. Listen, when you release, you open the door for your hands to receive more. Ooh, that's good. That'll preach right there. I feel like I feel like that'll preach. If I was a preacher, come on, somebody. Listen, this is another thing that causes people to be nervous when it comes to open mic as well. They expect themselves to be perfect. Or they get in a in a habit of comparing themselves with other people that they've seen. And yeah, I'm all for being excellent at what you do. But when you get into comparison or when you get into a mode where you feel like you can't mess up, it actually hinders your ability to recover if you mess up. Hear what I say? There's a lot of times people miss pieces and whole stanzas of poems that you would never know because they just keep on going. You know, even if somebody hiccups and is like, mm, but they keep on going. Perfection is so overrated. And I'll say that, oh, I have that line in one of my pieces. Look, perfection is so overrated. Um, forget being perfect. It's about getting out what's on the inside. And I mean, forget being perfect, meaning don't let it hinder you from going forth and opening your mouth. My gosh, just do the doggone thing. Just open your mouth and start. Start talking. Once you get yourself out there, it's kind of hard to say, oops, I didn't mean to start talking. No, just keep on going. If you mess up, Pick yourself up. Keep it moving. The thing is, if this is your first time, that there will be momentum that you build up every time you hit the stage. Every time you hit the mic, you're going to get better. So you got to start somewhere. You don't you, you, you don't start at perfection. Perfection is something when it comes to the arts. Perfection is something that has grown. It's something that's developed over the course of time, over the course of you actually doing what you're supposed to be doing. And so don't don't even sweat. Hey, if you mess up, don't sweat. If you start off on an open mic and you're reading off of your phone, don't stay there, but it's okay for you to start there if that's where you're going to start, but don't stay there. Don't stay there, but it's okay to start there. There is a uh, media ministry that I follow. It's called Think Media. You can look them up on YouTube, but there's one thing that they say often it is start messy. Start messy. What do I mean by start messy? Look, don't even try. Don't don't be so concerned, so 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 tied to being perfect that you don't ever start. Get on the mic, open your mouth, say something. Once you say something, you have committed yourself 
to continue saying what it is that you have to say. It doesn't matter if someone paid me to be there. It doesn't matter if it's an open night mic. It doesn't matter if it's an open mic. It doesn't matter wherever I am, whether it's a hundred people, one person, 10,000 people in the venue. I promised God that I was going to give him 110% every time I hit the mic. I'm not saying being perfect. I said that I would give him 110% Every time I hit the mic, it doesn't matter who's in the building. I'm not doing it for anybody else per se. I'm not doing it for even for myself. I'm doing it because God gave me a mandate. He gave me something to say, and I should be doing it regardless of who's there. I should be doing it to, with excellence. I should be doing it to the best of my ability, regardless of who's in the building. Commit to giving 100% of yourself. That's how you get better, 110%. That's how you grow. That's how you go, because if you start off only giving 50 percent, guess where your next step is? If you decide to go higher, your next step is going to be 52 percent, 55 percent. And now you're starting off 50 and you have a, a, a longer way to go. But if you start off giving 100, come on, it's easy to correct somebody that's giving 100 and somebody that's holding back of anything that's on the inside of them. So my next thing, my thing, again, make a commitment to give it your all when you get up there. Don't be shy. Leave the shyness stuff at the door. Sign When you sign your name on the sign up list, put your name on it and say no fear right next to it. I, I'm, I'm just saying, make a decision that you're not going to be scared. And for my last tip, even if you are still nervous, still have some fear, I would like to remind you that fear has torment. But even still, if you're feeling a little nervous, if you're still not sure about yourself, I would like to remind you of a scripture that says that God has not given you the spirit of fear, but he's given you the spirit of power, of love, and a sound mind. Fear has torment. Fear has a way of standing on both of your shoulders and saying foolish stuff to get you to draw back and shrink back in intimidation, to get you to draw back in fear, to get you to, to sit down and not do what it is that's on the inside of you to do. So I encourage you to stand up. I encourage you to, I encourage you to be just like uh, Joshua in the book of Joshua, chapter one, where God tells him, hey, fear not. Do not fear. Be courageous. Be strong. Be bold. Look at the shirt. Be fearless. Be bold. Be strong. I encourage you. To find your voice and release it. If you are headed towards your first open mic, whether it's a live event or an online event, just like some of the many, so many of the open mics that are being held in 2020, it doesn't matter to me. Whatever it is, if you have one that's coming up and you're going to do it, you, you have made up your decision, you made up your mind, you're going to do the open mic, put a link in the, in the comment section. I would like to actually support you. No, no, no charge. There's no, no strings attached, nothing. I would just like to cheer you on. I would just like to support what you're doing. I like to support you putting forth what's on the inside. I hope that this video added value to your life, to your purpose. I'm rooting for you. I know God is rooting for you. And so, yeah, until next time.